Yo, what's up? You are now watching J Towns TV, and this is a very special tutorial. Now, you're probably wondering what am I doing with T Pain in the background? Well, this tutorial is going to be on how to get the T Pain auto tune effect. Now, this sound effect, I don't even have to tell you, it's like took over hip hop pretty much. Some people like it, some people don't like it, but me personally, it's just all about how you use it. Use it too much, it's gonna get played out. You know what I'm saying? You just use it on the right times, on the right tracks, then you'll be alright. So this is behind the scenes. I'm about to show you how to get this effect. Now that's enough with the talking. Let's get started. Alright first step is that you're gonna wanna get you're gonna wanna find your vocal now in Pro Tools and FL Studio it's the same exact process as far as the um settings go the settings are the same now I know you're probably wondering how can you get all the tune well you can go to their website and there's a free demo all you have to do is Google Auto tune and you should find it. Okay, so now so we can go down here. We got these are the factory vocals that come with the full studio. And let's see what's up with this one. Bring me to my knees. Alright. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. Alright, bet. So now we have a vocal. Don't stop now. But the thing is that you want that T pain effect. So this is what we're gonna do. We go to our mixer, and I'll be making a video on how to put your VSTs, your plugins into the, into your um, folder so they appear in the full studio. But I'm just assuming you already know how to do that. If not, I will make a video tutorial. So this is what we're gonna do. I have it right here. Auto tune. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna click on this vocal. As you can see, it says FX. That stands for sound effects. This is number one, which means right now we are sending this effect on the mixer from track one. Now this is the very important part: settings. As soon as you open all the two, you're gonna see this input tight. It's a key. This is the scale, the retune speed. This right here is the most important. Scale, detune, humanize, etc., etc. You know what I mean? You see the rest. Now, first step this is what we're going to do. We're going to go up to the scale. We're going to change it to major. Now we're going to go to retune speed <clears throat> and change it to fast all the way down to zero. This you can leave alone as it is. Next step is we're gonna go down I mean my fault go up the pitch amount. We're gonna change that to zero. Variation zero. Pretty much everything just goes down to zero. Format you can put down to zero everything put down to zero. Now depending on the singer there's gonna be different keys so if when you change the different keys, different keys work for different singers. It could be a male that has a deeper voice, it could be a female with a higher pitch. It just all depends. So now first I'm gonna take it off effect. Don't stop now. Now with auto tune, T pain effect. Don't stop now. You hear the difference? Don't stop now. Just to get the see something. Don't stop now. Don't stop now. Yeah, you can definitely hear the difference. And if you play around with the key right here, well, don't stop now. Sometimes you won't hear. Don't stop now. Now it just sounds horrible, but you want to keep it around. I would say C to E. Don't stop now. Yeah, you leave it around C to E. For this particular singer right here, 
you would not want to put it down to F sharp because look what happens. Don't stop me. It just sounds like she's having a heart attack or something. <laughs> so yeah, this is um the tutorial to get the T pain effect. Even though I'm using FL Studio right now, if I was to open Pro Tools, it's gonna be the same exact settings. So these settings right here are the same. No matter what you're using. I mean you could be using Reason, you could be using FL Studio, Pro Tools, Cubase, whatever. It, any software it's gonna be the same settings. So yeah, that's how you get the um T paint effect in FL Studio.